a lot of positives. Uh, you know, Dino getting 100, uh, Faf getting some runs, um, Mone bowling the way he did. All the bowlers, um, uh, you know, all the seamers bowled exceptionally well. Um, there were periods where I think on, a, on a pr probably a different surface they would have, would have picked up a lot more wickets a bit quicker. Uh, and I think they bowled very well. So a lot of positive guys got a good feel of uh, you know, going into the last test. If, if we had bowled the whole day today, we might have had some tired bodies going in, you know, with just a two-day turnaround. So another positive would be if we have some fresh guys coming into the last one. Definitely, uh, we were disappointed the first game. Um, coming to Port Elizabeth, that's the key word we use. We definitely wanted to improve. And, you know, we showed that over the past couple of days. That was certainly on the cards. Um, you know, had we bowled them out early this morning, you know, the first couple of overs, uh, we were looking to set a target and, and try and win the game with maybe 60 or 55 or 60 overs to go. Um, give us a chance to win the game, give the West Indians as well uh, something to, to look for. Uh, I think it would have been a pretty good game, but we would have had to assess how the game kind of unfolded. The thing about Test cricket these days, eh, no matter how, many rain, how much rain comes, um, you still have to make up overs on the, the next day. So one of the things we tell our guys, you still have to stay focused, because even today, the true results were still possible. Whether we win, draw or lose, you know, so we just, when we come, we still have to stay focused. From this game, it's, it, for me, it's quite obvious and it's quite easy. Um, we have two centurions against the number one bowling attack in the world, you know, coming from the first game that we didn't have a half century. Um, the way the, our bowlers bowl, we, I think we are more consistent, you know, you know, fast bowler Shannon Gabriel with his pace, you know, Peters, you know, debutant even at the um, latter stage of his career, but, you know, I think he put his hands up. And Jerome Taylor, our number one bowler, you know, coming to his own a little bit. So, you have some positive living from here. If you look at the scores, I think they had one good partnership uh, with Samuels and, and Braithwaite. Uh, and I think that partnership kind of reflected, you know, maybe the feeling that they've had a good game. Um, in terms of our batting in the first innings, you know, having lost the, the amount of time we did, we tried to push the game a little forward uh, with quicker than, uh, than normal. So we lost a few wickets here and there. So by and large, the wicket was a, was a batter-friendly wicket. Um, but for us to, to get seven wickets in 35 overs yesterday was a, was a really good effort from us. You know, Mone, as I said, bowled exceptionally well. Imran chipped in um, with, the, with the lower order. So I think we had a, a pretty good game as well uh, in you know, maintaining some sort of um, you know, good skill and you know, I mean, a lot of positive to go into the next game. It's been a successful year without a doubt. We've had, you know, our one-day cricket has been going quite well. Uh, Test as well has been going well. Uh, to sum up the year, it would be a very successful year for us.